So, hey, Ryan, nice to meet you. Um, my mm -hmm. name is Dr. Hauk, and um, I'm here to take care of you today. Um, it says on your referral that you're having low back pain, but I thought we'd start by just kind of help me understand like what's going on and, and why you came in today. Uh, I mean, my back's been hurting and that's not really normal for me. Um, actually it's getting, yeah, it's just been hurting more and more. Um, I'm not sure if maybe exercise could help me. Uh, all I know is I, I, I finally got in cause I have to do something about this for sure. Well, sounds like your back's hurting you and you have to, you're, you're feeling like you have to do something and you're wondering what to do about it. Um, so help me understand a little bit more about what you think's going on with your back. You know, I'm not really sure. I, I'm not sure if like there's something wrong with the, with those, those spines or the discs or um, yeah, I'm not sure. So oh, okay. So it sounds like you're wondering that's why you came in partly. Right. So Mm -hmm. um, but I, I'm wondering, like, you know, it is helpful to kind of, kind of understand what your current thinking is about the back. And so, you know, what, what I'm really interested in here is like how it kind of started and then, you know, what you're thinking about, like, um, as a result of that. So like, how did it get going for you? Like, when did you, you know, gotcha. what's, what's your story about how you got back pain? Um, yeah, I was helping my uh, mother-in-law move her futon out of their house and, um, I just went to lift it and then I felt this kind of shifty clunky thing and then it kind of started hurting and I mean I'm 47 so I'm like okay but it hasn't really stopped mm -hmm. yeah and so so lifting this futon for your aunt is that what you said my mother-in-law oh, your mother-in-law okay right so your mother-in-law so so this is like you're doing a good deed and here you are and then I'll, and then you kind of sprain your back right and so so this must feel like, um, you know, uh, you know, you kind of have this unexpected, um, you know, kind of strain or sp sprain of your back. Mm -hmm. Is is that kind of how you're thinking about it, or or what else is is yeah. fine about I mean, what's wrong with your back? Yeah, I, 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 this is new for me, and and so I was just, you know, I it hasn't gone away, and so it just got me a little worried, and and. And I don't want to continue like this for sure. Okay. So it yeah. sounds like you're really um, afraid of it continuing. And so you're in it because it, it must hurt enough, like, um, you know, right now. So like, is it really limiting some of the things you can do and not do or? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I stopped going to the gym because I, I'm just, I'm just not sure how much weight to lift. Um, but I am walking still, you know, like. I know, I mean, I've heard enough that I need to keep exercising, but it's really hard because then the pain hits with certain movements and, and, and then, yeah. Well, let's say, let's say before we get into what movements bother you, can you, it sounds like you're, you're, re it's really limiting you. So I'm just curious if there's anything else you're thinking about, like in terms of like, how come you're so worried about the pain? I, I mean, I, I know that it's, um, it can be just painful and that's all it is, but it's also, could be, you know, some other thoughts in your head that you're having about this. So I just wondered if you're having any other right. um, thinking in terms of what's causing your back pain or what might be wrong with it. Cause did, did you mention a clunk? I, I don't, can't remember. Did you yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah. It, it clunks sometimes. And, and that's a weird feeling. So because I'm wondering if that's maybe on your head too, or is it something you, you mentioned something about something you heard or what's kind of, you know, right. yeah. In your I mean, head about it. I just feel like I really need to take care of this before it becomes something big. You know what I mean? And, and it's been, I don't know, a few weeks now and it's just, yeah. I, I, is, it, just, is, it two weeks, is it two weeks ago that you lifted this then yeah, with you? Yeah. Okay. yeah. And, then, and then you also, so it sounds like it's been long enough for you that you're worried that not taking care of it right will have consequences. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So what kind of consequences are you thinking about? Well, I don't know. I just don't, I, I don't want it to be like this as I'm starting to age, you know, I'm 47 and I, 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 I've heard that sometimes back pain doesn't get better for people. And, and I, so I just picture that and that's, yeah. So, so when you're thinking, you know, it, when you say you've heard about, is that from like the news or doctors or 
you know, who exactly is kind of um, where you're getting your information so we can kind of have a common common ground for like how I, I mean it's hard because my dad he has arthritis and he got arthritis kind of early in life and you know he's older but he's in a wheelchair now and I mean I kind of grew up at least when I was older a lot of it was about his back pain and stuff and and so I'm wondering like great is this my turn now you know like mm -hmm. I, I know it's only been two weeks but yeah I, I I feel like I'm I'm active and I try to be pretty healthy and so yeah I've never I've never had a problem lifting stuff you know helping people out like that kind of things so it's a big it's a big change for you this new pain you're having in your back two weeks ago it hurts a lot right now and then you also have this history of your father who's pretty close to you that's, mm -hmm. you know, had this same kind of thing. So, you know, it, it sounds like your father had a hard time of it. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, you're in, sure. and, and maybe you're thinking that that might, you might end up like your father is. I mean, that's fair. I've thought, I've thought that um, I, I hope not. And yeah, that's, that's why I kind of want to get on it, you know, and. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, 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 so just, you know, may, maybe it'd be helpful to right now, just talk a little bit about um, if back pain is passed on from one person to the next, is that uh, okay? Yeah, is that, is that a, right now? Is that a thing? Uh, n n actually, there's good news here because it's not a thing. Like, oh, like okay. typically back pain is, um, not hereditary so you know people don't have a bad back and pass on a bad back to their you know kids okay. you know okay. basically back pain is you know a, it's like a sprain so if you don't ever sprain your back you probably don't have back pain but if you sprain it then then like, you have back pain so it's like, more, like an ankle yeah like an ankle sprain yeah oh my gosh i've done that many times oh my gosh yeah so it's very it's very similar it hurts like a lot for four weeks and you, you know, have to move, move with a lot of difficulty. And then basically you can, the prognosis is very good. Most people kind of fully recover from an ankle sprain. Okay. So back pains like that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, so, but let's, so is, do you have any more questions or is that, does that, um, do you have any more worries like, or things that you want to mention? No, I mean, that, that, that's really helpful. Definitely helpful. I mean, um, no, I don't think I have any other worries. That's, I, okay. I want, you know, I definitely don't want to go down that track, you know? Okay. Well, let's talk about your back now. Just how's that sound? So you were talking about, you know, different movements that, you know, were really bothering you, like help me understand, like in a, you know, your, your, you know, how are you moving and, you know, um, doing your daily things that you would normally do like an ordinary day. For right. You? Right. Well, I, I move around a lot in my job and at home. And sometimes, you know, I can feel it's there, but I'll be able to do things like grab a heavy bag of groceries and carry it and it won't hurt or get any worse or anything like that. Um, but, you know, like I'll wake up in the morning, roll over to the side of the bed to sit, stand up. And as I stand, it'll kind of go clunk. And that's, mm -hmm. that's pretty weird. And that's happened like getting up and down off a chair, you know, from a toilet. Um, that's a little concerning. Um, I think that's, what made me wonder, you know, is something out or is something messed up back there, you know? Yeah. Well, it sounds like the clunk and pain and this transitioning, like getting up and down mm -hmm. is bothering you, but it also is puzzling because you can carry things. It doesn't bother you. Right. But then if I bend over and pick up like something off the floor, then it could be super lightweight. And then I come up and I feel it. So I, I don't know, like, it really makes me wonder about, you know, like I've heard a little bit about arthritis and you know there can be stuff back there or whatever, or discs. I, I really don't know. Right. And so it sounds like, it sounds like on the one hand, your back feels really strong, carrying groceries, things like that. And on the other hand, it feels like it's fragile because you're kind of just picking things up and, and doing like simple things and the clunk occurs and it hurts. Yeah. I mean, I never thought of it as fragile, but definitely like, you know, WTF what's going on, you know, that thing. So, <laughs> okay. Well, so, so then, so then now, right now, so let's, um, so why don't we, 
so we have a pretty good idea of what's going on with you. Like walking's not a problem. Sleeping doesn't seem to be a problem. Um, you have this worry about arthritis or something, um, you know, related to your, your dad. And, uh, but the, pro the thing that is a problem is, is really going from sit to stand and, you know, just this clunk that started occurring after you lifted the futon. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So what if we start, what if we take a look at it now, do some movements and see what we can figure out about these, the transition from sit to stand and, you know, what the clunk might be about. And then we can go from there. That sounds really good. Yeah. Thanks.